We're leaving on Friday. Today is Wednesday. I need to get packing. making my Hawaii pack with me last year. I want to do that again, so let's get started. Also, I am a big fan of packing cubes. I got these off of Amazon, not sponsored. This suitcase, I have a matching bigger suitcase as well, but this is my carry-on. It's a Samsonite. I really like it. It has a lock, and I have this luggage tag that I probably need to update because it's before I moved and got married. Let's get started packing my carry-on. I'm wanting to gather my swimsuits first because I also want to try them on, see how I like them, see if I like how they look together, and yeah. This is my first swimsuit that I'm bringing. It's got long sleeves, UV light protection, this cute little keyhole, v-neck, it's really cute. It's all the way covered on the back, some cheek, not a lot, which that's okay. Some days I'm not feeling like showing off my butt. I really like this dual tone. I believe I got it from Cupshe. I don't remember. Another gift from my mom. My mom loves to give me swimsuits. I love swimsuits. I own. It's, it's such a problem. I like how it's like kind of high on the hips too. Yeah, it's just pretty. Really cute. This is swimsuit one. All right, my second set that I'm bringing is this. This top I got from C S E E A, and I also got this bag from them. Yeah, see, I really like it. This is gonna be my personal item that I put some stuff in. I'm scared that it's gonna be too big, but I'm not gonna stuff it too big so I can fold. But yeah, this is it. It's really cute. It has like these faux buttons. They're real, but they don't unclasp. It's really cute. Open on the back like so. These bottoms are just high-waisted, I believe, from Old Navy. Got these years ago. I really like it. Again, not too much of the cheek, which makes my mom happy. Just really like this swimsuit top. I was really nervous of trying it on because I've gained some healthy weight over the past year, I guess, of being married. Healthy, healthy marriage weight. Woo. But it's just been hard to try to accept that and accept it as a good thing instead of being like, oh my goodness, no. I also like not having long sleeve tops because I can show off my tattoos more. I have an ankle tattoo, but that you can always see when I'm swimming unless I'm wearing a wetsuit. But yeah, so this is swimsuit number two. This is swimsuit number three, and I love this color. To me, it just definitely screams grease. This is another one my mom gifted to me. This is from the brand Geode. I love this. Obviously, it's one shoulder. The back is really cute. It's starting to show a little bit more cheek on um, my range. Everybody's range is different and that is totally okay. I just really like this and I feel like it looks, it makes my hair look good and it looks well with my skin tone and yeah, I'm just really happy with this. This is swimsuit number four, all black which I really like. It's pretty. This is originally a strapless piece, but it also came with this strap, <laughs> I guess. And I feel more supported with this strap. I feel more comfortable with the strap, so that's why I put it on there. It's not as high-waisted bottoms as I personally like, but also I feel like it's kind of nice too, because I'm like, huh, it's making me love my belly more, which is something I've always been really self-conscious about. This is what the back looks like. Just a glass, and as you can see, it goes around the neck. Hopefully that doesn't break, because that would be stressful. Yeah, I really like this swimsuit. It makes me look like I have boobs. I believe this is the brand Swim Systems. I don't know. I found it at Ross or TJ Maxx one day. I like how simple it is, and of course you can switch out the top or the bottom, depending on your bag. Granted, any bikini you can do this. I personally like matching things. I like twirling, I don't know. <laughs> this is my fifth swimsuit. It is from JoLynn, the Erin Cross collection. It is my cheap gift swimsuit that I am bringing. And I love the color of this. It's not my favorite swimsuit ever. I know JoLynn is really well known for being sporty and active, 
and especially the Erin Krause collection is also supposed to be really sporty. However, I know I personally would not want to be sporty in this specific top or bottom because this top, it just, it doesn't stay down. Whenever I put it on, it likes to lift up. Like you can see some of the under boob and that always makes me self-conscious. The only reason why I'm planning on bringing this swimsuit is to wear it underneath my wetsuit because we are going diving on our cruise, so I'm really excited for that. I love a high waist. This is what the back looks like. It's just a tie. Definitely a little more cheeky. And you can like change it, but of course it's gonna slide back because I know that's how Erin likes her swimsuits. I just love this color and I feel like it's really pretty. I also wish there was padding on it but I know not everybody likes padding with their swimsuits. It's something that I'm trying to get used to as well because a lot of the swimsuits nowadays are not built in with padding. And that's definitely a change for me. But cool, on to my last swimsuit, I promise. <laughs> okay, so this is the last swimsuit that I'm bringing to Greece. It is one that I found on an Instagram shop. I believe it's called Grace Sunny. I think they don't have an Instagram, which, I believe every swimsuit company, at least every company, should have an Instagram, I think. Um, yeah, I really liked the, the color blocking on this one. I think I should have sized up because it is kind of snug and it's hard for me to get the zipper on the back all the way up when it's just me. I'm sure I could, but eh. But yeah, it's just kind of tricky, but yeah, it's a razorback style really pretty um yeah sorry i keep looking over here because i have a full length mirror over here so i'm just because this is this is the first time i'm trying it on so this is me trying to get used to seeing how it is on my body um it's pretty i like it grandma is on sale everything all swimmer is on sale now because at least in the northern hemisphere it's turning into fall and winter thank goodness I live in Arizona, so everything's hot all the time. It's still in the higher 90s. Some days are 100, but now it's like slowly getting to the 90s, so it's like, oh yeah, it's fall, even though it's still really hot. Those are all the swimsuits that I'm bringing to Greece. This is the mess that currently is my room right now. This is the pile of clothes that I am taking. These hampers are just full of clean clothes we recently used got a new washer dryer so we were just washing all of our clothes some hiking shoes that i am debating whether or not we take because we will be doing a lot of walking my suitcase personal bag mask dry bag pillow and things yeah <laughs> this is the packing cube that i typically like using to put my personal stuff like my bathroom stuff this is really cool this is a make your perfume travel size so you don't have to get a brand new one i already filled this up i have eyelash curler, zinc sunscreen, mascara, eyebrow pencil, safety razor that will put in a checked bag, shampoo, conditioner, body wash. I have my pads, my menstrual disc, but yeah, I will go ahead and pack them in here and then we'll get started on another cube. This bag I just packed, I have all my garments in there. For those of you who don't know, I am a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and I wear garments. I am also bringing panties. My period's supposed to start this week and I am not excited for that. But yeah, that's what it is in this bag. My hiking boots, they're Skechers. Yeah, they're supposed to be waterproof. We're gonna be walking a lot and because of my ankle problems, some days I'm not gonna be wearing my boot. I will be wearing a brace though, don't worry. But these have ankle, they're high ankles, so. That'll be good. I'll also bring my Tevas or Tevas. Why are they called Tevas? They're Tevas. Yeah, so I'll also bring those. I typically like to put my shoes in this compartment, so in case if there's any dirt or sand, they don't get everywhere else. But you know, it's not a foolproof plan. However, it is a plan. See, I added some more socks. I had my Tevas along this area, and now there's this space between my boots and my Tevas. I'm not sure what I'm putting in there just yet. We'll see. Maybe, maybe my bathroom stuff? I don't know. I'm also reusing this Four Ocean bag. I have a lot of Four Ocean bracelets. I love Four Ocean and what they stand for. If any of you guys are interested in getting any of their bracelets, any of their jewelry, 
I have a link for you down in my description. However, I will be reusing this bag so I can bring some jewelry and so I don't lose them in my suitcase and I don't have to worry about taking them off somewhere and forgetting about them. So yeah, again, if you want anything for Ocean, check out my description. It will be an affiliate link so I will get some commission but at no charge to you. <laughs> here has everything that I'll be using within the next 24 hours like my antidepressants, my deodorant, hairbrush, you name it, whatever. So I'm going to be putting them in this bag so I can eventually put it in here. In here I have my lovely pillow. I have some things that my mother-in-law gave us because we will be on a cruise. We will be chatting with one another via this fancy whiteboard. Dirty clothes hamper shoe organizer, my journal, um, fourth wing, my mask, uh, dry bag, and my garments, as well as some pens will, and my charger, and I'm planning on bringing my headphones as well. Yeah, as well as my laptop, eventually I'll have a sleeve for it. But yeah, that is what I am bringing to Greece. Mm -hmm. 